The McRae Chicken History and Physical Characteristics Mr. William McRae bred his blacks using a three-way cross of Jack Wachter's Sheldon Black Roundhead, Kent Mug Black Mugwump, and one-eighth Blueface Hatch. McRae blacks were highly prized in Hawaii. The McRae blacks have very good station, or mulberry faced with dark red eyes and ebony legs too. During his cockfighting days, William had close ties to the Wachter family, being family friends for almost half a century. He was able to get up to 100 baby stags every other year since he began breeding his own blacks. Mr. McRae competed in many of the island's cockfighting derbies, mostly in the long knife, shipping game fowl everywhere. McRae was a game fowl broodstock supplier for well over three or four decades, selling to the Hawaiian Islands and all across the U.S. because of the increasing popularity of long knife cockfights. The McRae's are heavy on the black roundhead bloodline. William McRae was one of the first long knife men to ship from the States to the Philippines around the time of the Korean War to my knowledge. William was a legend for delivering a rooster that excelled at the long knife, and McRae's dominated the 60s, 70s and early 80s. William had a good eye for game fowl, getting his blacks the best infusions of black roundheads to improve the McRae long knife killers. One of the most lethal of today's modern game fowl, the vertical sweater has McRae blood in it. The Gilmore McRae is the red version of the fighting McRae's. Fighting style. The black McRae is a very smart fighter which plays by counterpunching rather than initiating contact. The McRae waits to catch a cock comnet to a charge and as he sees his opponent coming in, he unleashes a very powerful single stroke hit to connect before the other rooster can recover from overextending. Disclaimer. No copyright infringement intended. All music, picture and videos inserted belongs to the rightful owner for educational documentary and entertainment purpose only.